स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सोभा बंसीवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इंग्लिश एस पी सी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज भीम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द पोईम वेन द असोल्ट वॉज इंटेंडेड टू द सिटी बाय जॉन मिल्टन इट इज इन बी ए फर्स्ट इयर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर पेपर फर्स्ट दिस पोईम वॉज रिटर्न इन दर सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड फोर्टी टू Uh, most probably on 12 november 1642 uh, milton was a par- parliamentarian and uh, and in the years 1642 um, they occurred civil war and uh, on the, on 12th november 1642 uh, it was expected that the royal royalist forces uh, would attack the city of london so uh, milton was um, milton who was a uh, parliamentarian uh, was scared uh, he thought that uh, the royalist forces uh, will attack his home and uh, and they will attack him also so um, there was a general fear in in the people of london uh, about because of the uh, impending attack of um, royalist forces in this poem uh, milton addresses some imaginary um, colonel or captain of um, royalist force and he uh, addresses him and he requests him to uh, save him from um, he requests them he request a uh, colonel or captain to uh, spare him from attack and uh, he he um, milton promises to him uh, to this uh, colonel to reward him uh with some immortality which he will uh, it means he will write poems in praise of uh, that uh, colonel who will spare him uh, and by writing his poems he will make him immortal in the this poem is a miltonic sonnet in a uh, in the first two stanza uh, quatrains which are octave part of the poem uh, milton um, addresses uh, milton request the colonel the imaginary colonel to spare him from the attack and uh, he uh, promises um, uh, he promises uh, him he promises to make him uh, famous or immortal by his uh, with his with the help of his poems and in the sestet part he gives example of two great uh, warriors who saved a uh, poets um, from attacking and due to uh, their honor for the poets and uh, poetry so in this poem uh, let me explain you this poem line to line uh, captain or colonel or knight in arms whose chance on these defenseless doors may seize if deed of honor did the ever please guard them and him within protect from harms in this uh, poem we have to imagine that they um, that um, Milton is addressing to some image in this poem Milton is addressing to some imaginary colonel or um, captain who might who uh, who might attack his home um he is addresses this uh, colonel and says to him that uh, that if um, this colonel has a chance to um seize the doors of his house he should uh, he should guard the doors of um, 
Milton and uh, this um, colonel should spare uh, or uh, protect Milton from harm. If this colonel ever ha has um, respect for poets and and deed of honors, then he should spare uh, the poet who is Milton and his home. Uh, he can requite thee, for he knows the charms that call fame on such gentle acts as these, and he can spread thy name over lands and seas. Whatever climb the sun's bright circle warms. In this uh, second quatrain, uh, which is the second part of the octave, Milton uh, promises this uh, colonel to reward him uh, with some uh, fame. The poet says that uh, he knows some charms and um, and with these charms he make uh, this colonel famous uh, for his gentle acts and he can spread uh, his name over lands and seas means he can uh, make him famous all over the world uh, wherever uh, the bright circle of sun shines it means uh, Milton wants to say that if this colonel saves him um, and protects him from any harm then uh, he will uh, he will uh, reward him with uh, fame um, by writing poetry and uh, the poetry written in the praise of this colonel uh, will make him uh, famous all over the world in the in the sestet part which is the last six lines of this poem um, which comprises uh, of uh, two tercets. Ter tercets means um, a set of three lines is called tercet. And in a sestet, there are two tercets. Uh, so, in the uh, sestet, Milton says, Lift not thy spear against the muse's bower. The great Emetian conqueror bid spear. The house of Pindarus when temple and tower went to the ground and the repeated air of sad Electra's poet ha had the power to save the Athenian walls from ruin bear. In this uh, sestet part, Milton gives um, Milton uh, gives example of uh, Two great uh, warrior who uh, protected poets uh, due to their respect for uh, poets and poetry. Um, the the poet says that lift not thy spear against the muse's bower. Uh, the great Emetian conqueror bid spare the house of Pindarus when temple and towers went to the ground. Here the poet says uh, the poet requests the colonel or oh, he or captain or knight. The poet says to him that uh, he should not lift his spear against him, against the poet or Milton. He says that uh, in history, uh, the great Emetian conqueror, that is uh, the Alexander Great, uh, spared the house of um, the great Greek poet uh, Pindar, 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 or Pindarus, when he uh, sacked uh, the city of um, uh, when he sacked the city of uh, Deep, uh, he he ordered his um, soldiers not to attack um, the house of um, Pindarus. In the next example, the poet says that. Uh, the repeated air of sad Electra's poet heard the power, had the power to save the Athenian walls from ruin bearer. The, the second example is of uh, the Spartan leader uh, Lysander who attacked the city of Athens. Um, but when he heard some rhymes 
from uh, Euripides uh, Ilis uh, Tasty Electra. Uh, he he ordered uh, not to attack this city, uh, and he um, he's he. Uh, he changed his mind to uh, ruin this city. So, in this estate part, uh, the poet gives example of two great leaders who saved poets um, due to their respect for poets and poetry. Uh, so, uh, this uh, poem is a sonnet uh, and it is a um, Petrarchan sonnet which is also called a Miltonic or Classical sonnet. Uh, it is called Miltonic sonnet because Milton used this form in um, in his uh, sonnets. So it became famous with his name is as Miltonic sonnet. In Miltonic sonnets, there are um, two parts. The first eight lines is um, octave part, and the last six lines are a uh, sestate part. Uh, the octave part comprises of two quatrains. And sestate part comprises of two tercets. Uh, the rhyme scheme uh, of um, Petrarchan sonnet is A B A A B B A A B B A, and the the rhyme scheme of uh, sestate part is uh, different, like uh, C D C or D C D or C D E C D E. Uh, in uh, in a in a Miltonic sonnet, in this sonnet, uh, there is a there is a pause after the first quatrain, and then comes uh, the climax after the second quatrain. Means uh, after the end of the uh, octave part, there is a big pause, um, and there uh, and. And in sestate part, he changes uh, his his idea or thought. So this is uh, Milton's poem when the assault was intended to the city. Thank you.